Hello everyone. Welcome to Simply Code. From today, we will be starting with the CSS playlist. And this is the first video of the CSS tutorial that is, what is CSS? In today's session, we will understand the importance of CSS and how you can use the CSS to turn the blank HTML page into something more interactive. Before we begin, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so so that you never miss an update. Let's move forward. Today, we'll be covering what is HTML and a brief introduction about CSS. Then we'll discuss what are CSS syntax and what are CSS selectors. So, what is an HTML? HTML, also called the Hypertext Markup Language, is the most widely used language for developing web pages. It defines the structure of the websites and format web pages. All the content that you add on the web pages are through HTML. So, what is CSS? CSS, which is a short form of cascading style sheet, is a simple design language which is used for making web pages look good and presentable. We format our web pages through CSS. It can be attached to any HTML element and style or even position according to developer's choice. It gives you freedom to edit things on our web pages how you want. Now that we know what CSS is, let's dive into how to use CSS. For that, we need to understand the syntax of the CSS. So, luckily the syntax is straightforward and easy to understand. The first part of the syntax is the selector. There are many different types of combinations and types of selectors. For now, all you need to know is the syntax starts with the selector. Next comes the curly braces. Inside the curly braces, we add the property and its values. So this is the complete syntax of the selector. The name of the selector first, followed by the curly braces, and inside the curly braces, we add the property and the value. This is an example of a selector. Here, h1 is our element, and we have changed the color of the heading 1 to red. Now that we have discussed the syntax, let's now discuss about the selectors. So, the last example that we discussed was an example of an element selector. Uh, this is the class selector. We specify the class selector by a dot, followed by the class name and the property value. The id selector we mentioned by the hash sign. Hash, id name and followed by the property value. Now that we know about the selectors and the syntax, let's jump to a demo to understand the CSS better. So, we are on our sublime text editor. And we have two files ready, index.html and style.css. Let's start by adding the standard ball HTML ball update. We'll add the title as what is CSS. Now, to link our HTML file with the style file, we'll use the link tag. So link and here we'll name the style file that is style.css. Now our HTML file is linked with our CSS file. Now let's create something basic. So we'll add an h1 and we'll say introduction to CSS. Let's add a p tag. This is the introduction. Now, to add our style to this page, we'll go to the style sheet and we'll select the element h1. We'll change its color to red. Okay. Now, just save the file and open this index.html. So, you can see this h1 is of color red and this is our p tag. This is how the basic CSS works. Let's do something more. Let's discuss a little bit more about the priority order. So we'll go back to our sublime text editor and here we'll add h1 color to blue. Now think which of the style will work. In CSS, the style order works from top to bottom. So if you see the flow, first the color will change to red and after that the color will change to blue. So the current style should be the blue. So if you go back and refresh, 
you see this uh, h1 is blue okay now let's go back and add a class here so we'll name this class say red now if you go back and change this to dot red color red and the h1 to blue now you'll think that the color of the h1 should be blue since the h1 this element is below this one but that is not true element selectors are the lower level of the selectors so when you go back to the page and refresh okay i think we haven't saved this save the file and now refresh you see the h1 changes to red so the css gives priority to the class selector after that the id selector and at last the element selector now let's discuss the different ways you can add your color so the first one is the name you can add different color names here there are several colors preloaded in the css you can say pink save the file go back and you see the color changes to pink the second way is through the hash value hash value is the color combination in the terms of numeric and letters you can check the value of the any color through a website called color picker so just se select the color picker here and you can see we have the hex value of different colors so let's select this color this is the hash value so just copy here save and go back you can see the color changes to green to know more about colors you can check our css colors video in the css playlist Next we are going to discuss about the box model. So for that we are going to create a new div. So we'll create one div here. And give it a class name box. Save this. Now go back to the CSS and let's create our box. So, for to create a box, we have to specify the height. So we'll set the box height to say hundred pixels. We'll set the width to hundred pixels too. So this will be hundred pixels. We'll set the padding to twenty pixels. Padding is the space between the boxes and the border. And we'll set the margin to 50 pixels we'll add the border as 10 pixel solid and any color of your choice let's say cyan so just save the file and go back Now if you refresh, we have this box. You can see this is the margin part and the padding is this part. The space between the two boxes. Let's add a background color. So to add the background color, we'll use the background color property and we'll keep it to light pink. Or yeah, light pink. Go back and refresh. Let's inspect this element to understand the box model better. So right click and click on inspect. Now below you will see this is the box our box model. You can see this is our padding part. This is the border and this is the margin. I hope you understand the box model better now. So we have discussed about the different elements and class selectors. 
we have discussed how you can add the colors to your elements and now we have discussed the box model and its different properties so this pretty much sums up everything you need to know to get started with css you can follow our css playlist which covers different topics in de details with this we have come to an end to this tutorial i hope this video was helpful and informative for you if yes do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel we'll be back with the more videos until then happy learning